I'd like to turn it over now to Manager of Plant Operations, John Beat, who will take you through some updates. Uh, thank you, Superintendent Zen. Um, so I'd like to talk about the, uh, the issue and concerns around ventilation. Um, so ventilation specifically refers to the introduction of outdoor air into a space. And this can be accomplished in a few different ways. So first of which is mechanical ventilation. So that would be where we have fans that either push the air into the building from the outside or exhaust fans that pull the air from the inside out and thereby draw um, fresh air in behind it. Uh, the other means of ventilation is natural ventilation, um, which is the passive flow of air through open doors and windows. So both of those are in important ways that ventilation occurs uh, within buildings. So our first step, of course, is to make sure that our mechanical ventilation systems are in good working order through reviewing our preventative maintenance and making sure RPMs are up to date and complete and associated repairs are um, also complete so that our HVAC systems are performing as designed um, and achieving their, the, the ventilation that they are intended to achieve. So we're in the process of ensuring all of that is complete and our repairs are up to date. Um, another important way to ensure that the air quality is good is to, to make sure that all our filters are changed as per our regular schedule. Um, so we have confirmed uh, that and we're also going back um, before school starts to visually inspect those filters to make sure nothing has changed in the interim between when it, they were last changed and the beginning of school. So we'll be making sure that we're visually checking those and making sure they're in good order. Um, Wherever possible, we want to encourage the use of the natural ventilation. Um, our uh, majority of our classrooms are along exterior walls and have operable windows. Um, so we will be uh, um, expecting those windows to be open um, and to increase and maximize the amount of natural ventilation we can get uh, in those class classrooms. Um, not all classrooms are on an exterior wall in our schools. So where we can't increase the uh, ventilation through opening the windows, we have uh, placed an order for 300 uh, standalone HEPA grade air filtration units. Uh, and those will be deployed in areas of the school uh, to improve um, the air quality through um, filtration, uh, where we can introduce um, an increased amount of fresh air into those spaces. So those have been ordered um, and we're expecting delivery of those in the next week or so. Um, so these, these air filtration units are um, a HEPA grade air filtration. They follow a, a four stage um, progressive filtering pro process, um, filtering first out large particles, then medium particles. Uh, they do have 15 pounds of activated carbon um, at the next level of filtration, and then they're equipped with 60 square feet of HEPA filter, uh, which removes 95% of the 0.1 micron or larger pro pro particles, and that includes bacteria and viruses, and they're effectively a MERV 17 rating. Um, so we're seeing these as a, an enhanced way that we can um, provide um, improved air quality in some of those areas within the school that may not have access to fresh air. Um, through the natural ventilation means. So additionally, we are uh, investigating opportunities to increase ventilation and decrease the recirculated air through um, potentially programming changes. Um, we have a, a wide range of age of school and a wide range of different systems in our schools. Um, and even within a school, you may have multiple different systems due to additions and changes throughout time. So. Um, we are looking at how we can potentially change the programming and the way the systems are working in order to increase ventilation and reduce recirculated air. Um, and we're investigating that ahead of uh, school as well. So th those are the, the activities we currently have underway in regards to, to ventilation uh, and air quality in the school. Um, and I will, I guess, hand it back over to Carlo and Gary. Thank you, 